Okay, so now that you know how to draw an ellipse, it's time to start putting those ellipses into a cylindrical object. Okay? So the first step, again, of any analytical drawing is that you're starting with that box, the box representing the space that this object exists in. Okay? And also under helping us understand the perspective of the top of this can. So the first step is to figure out when I'm drawing my box is what perspective is this top square going to be in. Okay, and the way that I can figure that out is I can use my pencil and I can eye it. That line is going to be like this. That line is going to be kind of at this angle. This line at this angle. So I can take a look at it. Same thing if you have an object in front of you. Let's say here's my object. I'm also going to use my uh, pencil to just line it up so that I could visually see the angle of that line. Okay? All right, so I'm going to start by drawing um, this can. All right, so I'm going to start with the top. I'm drawing the top. Again, you're looking at it upside down. Um, so it may look like the bottom too, but that's okay. All right, so I'm drawing the top of this can. So I'm going to start with first that box. It's almost like you think of yourself as a sculpture, a sculptor, where a sculpture starts with a block of, of marble and then chips away at that block of marble into the form that's inside. That's kind of what we're doing with analytical drawing. Okay, so I'm drawing the box that would exist essentially around my can. This box is going to be uh, see-through. Okay, so I can kind of see if I'm accurate, kind of. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to draw my top ellipse first and then my bottom ellipse. So again, I'm going to find the middle of these two squares, the top and the bottom. Here's my midpoint. Here's my midpoint. This is not, sometimes gesture lines are not that accurate. So you have to kind of, after you figure out where that line is, go back over them and make sure you have a little bit more accuracy. So there's that midpoint. All right, so I'm going to draw my ellipse. I'm using, again, that square to help me draw the angle of that ellipse. There's the top one. Here's the bottom. And then I'm going to connect them, okay? That is the basic shape of my can. But if you notice, there are definitely more details because I have an exterior ellipse. I also have an interior one. And when I'm looking at it, I actually don't see part of it because this edge covers that interior ellipse. And so I'm going to use the ellipse that I've already drawn to help me draw that interior ellipse. Again, this can has many ellipses. So if I'm drawing these ellipses down, I can start by, again, drawing the same technique that we used last, uh, our last drawing, is that we can use the box in our analytical drawing to help draw these ellipses, right? Because these ellipses here have to relate to the curve that's at the top or the bottom and the curve that's at the top. So you notice there are a bunch of ellipses. And so I'm going to very kind of carefully use the curve that I've already drawn to help me understand the curve of those other ellipses. Right. 
Now, if you want to be very precise, even these ellipses that we see the, uh, the uh, opposite edge of, okay, because this, this one goes in and becomes this one. So this is one big ellipse. So if I want to be very precise, I could, again, make some construction lines here, draw this extra box, and then I'll be able to draw this ellipse that we see on this other side here. Okay. All right, so now you are going, we're all gonna be drawing the same uh, image just for practice before you go off and find other cylindrical objects around your house. Um, so we're all gonna be drawing the same can. Remember, you're gonna start with that initial structure of the box. Find your midpoint at the top, find your midpoint at the bottom, and then use that top and bottom to draw the top of the ellipse, the uh, top ellipse, and the bottom ellipse. And then you'll connect those two with the two outer edges of the can. Okay? Do try to draw all the details that you see in this can. It's a lot of ellipses, but just remember that they do, they relate to one another. Okay, the curves, these top and bottom curves will all be similar to the curves that are on the interior of the can as well. Okay.